Hello and welcome to ACT Votes, the ABC's coverage of the Territory election. Well, it's just past six o'clock and doors are closing at polling places across the city. These are live pictures from Turner Primary School in Canberra's inner north. And as is the case in each of the polling places in the ACT, votes will be sorted, counted and reported until every last preference has been distributed. Now, unlike other states, votes can be cast electronically electronically in the ACT. Around 70,000 have been in pre-poll voting and we hope to have a batch of them released by the Electoral Commission very soon. Well hello, I'm Greg Jennett broadcasting from our ACT Election Centre. Tonight we'll pull apart all the votes and all the numbers to give you the clearest picture we can of how they'll translate into seats in the Assembly. And I'm joined on the panel tonight by the Speaker of the Assembly, the Liberals' Vicky Dunn, by Labor Minister Megan Fitzharris and by Shane Rattenbury from the ACT Greens. Welcome to all of you. Now, we will also, of course, be relying on the expertise of the ABC's election analyst, Anthony Green, no stranger to ACT elections at all. And, Anthony, what can we expect, at least as a starting point, with this proportional representation system here in the ACT? Well, first off... Well, that brings to a close our coverage of the ACT election 2016 and the shape of the Territory's 9th Legislative Assembly is coming into clearer view now. With some question marks still hanging over a couple of seats, the most likely result is that Labor will cling on to secure another four years, bringing its running office to almost two decades because in four years time it'll be defending a record of 19 years in office. But it seems it'll only get there in minority once again relying on the Greens in the form of Cabinet Minister Shane Rattenbury to deliver that crucial 13th vote and what's needed to establish a stable and workable government. ACT Labor's seen off a determined Liberal attack on its public transport and urban development agenda and because of the win the Bar government will set about now pressing on with its tram plan, its tax changes to rates and stamp duty and its hospital building projects too. Well ABC News will of course maintain full coverage of the remaining count as it unfolds from the Electoral Commission and you can keep up with it on all our platforms online on radio and on TV. But that's where we'll say good night now and from everyone at the ABC, thanks for watching ACT Votes in election 2016.